Hey guys, this is Sohinky from Mahalo Games, and this is an educational video on Fight Night Champion for the Xbox 360. For more videos in this series, please visit mahalo.com slash fnchampionwt, and if you have any requests, please tweet us at video games. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to this pay-per-view extravaganza. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. This the site of our championship fight. 12 rounds, bantamweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw, it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. And His belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Introducing first, hailing out of Washington, D.C., Marnie. His adversary, hailing out of Guantanamo, Juarez. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. As long as they've been lacing up gloves, fighters have looked forward to this. A championship fight. Round one is underway. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Come on, get fucked up! Teddy, we know what it looks like when it lands, but how do you get to the point when you throw a big hook that, hey, I can go... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Right hand over the top. He counters back after denying his opponent's shot. Keeps going with that hook to the body. Off target with that hook. A headshot block. There you go. Good flush shot upstairs. Solid left hand. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. That is a strong uppercut there. And there's the left hand working well for him again. He scored well after being hit himself. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. That hook was well off the mark. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. You got this. 
Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Good, strong combo. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Just missed with that punch. Come on, kid, focus. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Little head knocking with that right hand. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Some fine fundamentals. Good counter punch. Nice mousetrap. They let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's. He used distance. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Number three is underway. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Little volume punching to the body there. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Very effective with the block and then the score. He missed with that headshot. Teddy, you've made the point a few times that, hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away. He doesn't respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red lights. He starts to do things that he shouldn't do. And that's what's happening here. He's starting to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he might get caught. There might be a cop there or a punch there to nail him. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. So accurate. Jab, uppercut combination. Turns over that hook upstairs. Okay. And keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for you to hit you. No more so with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Big left hand. Comes right back with some offensive. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's big shot. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive move. 
that punch nowhere close. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. He's still not moving enough. Move, move! Able to dismiss it. Fires right back at him. And now he's targeting upstairs. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Committing to the combo now. Both land. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet sign. The referee gives him a warning for headbutting. Keep working the body. There's a good right hand. Punches and bunches working well. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now you see him scoring well with the right. And round four comes to an end. Real good quality work early on here, especially in that last round. He got to the inside, and he was able to go downstairs. Well, when you get inside, what you got to do is rotate your shoulders a little bit. He does a good job of that. Creates just enough room where he can work downstairs. Huge right hand comes crashing home. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean... That's a huge left he just scored with. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The fight is over. A knockout victory. Unable to beat the count. To make it official, let's send it up to the ring. By way of knockouts, your winner and still champion of the world, Money. And he is still the champ. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying join us...